up, Super Fun Force Captain Good Games here, and today we're going to take a look at the mini greatest admiral from Tobot Galaxy Detectives. And starting off with the box, don't worry, guys, I got him right over here. But bam, I want to show you the artwork. I think it looks fantastic. They have this kind of comic book graphic design style going on for the mini versions. Again, I like, I really like how they um, interpreted it that way for sure. All right, this is obviously the uh, full Korean version, non-English translated, but you can definitely pick this up through uh, US distributors in the English version. And there you go. All right, so here it is, the Mini Greatest Admiral, which comprises two Tobots, actually, which is Commander Universe, the guy in red, and then, of course, Tank Guy, the guy in blue. But let's take a closer look. All right, and here we have the Mini Greatest Admiral. These are instructions. As you can see, I really like the art that they use for the Mini. All right, so there's too many things that prevented me from buying the full-size versions. Number one is the characters in the story. Now, while I like the characters individually, so Tank Guy, for example, is a kind of like the rambunctious rebel, kind of overconfident and reckless character who made a lot of mistakes and was also always like hesitant to, you know, learn about things like strategy and planning and you know patience and everything he's always kind of like rushing in to attack and stuff and not really think things through so i did like the fact that they gave him this you know kind of unique personality and his powers are really cool in the episode where they're fighting underwater against the aquatic creature from uh, eeny meeny miny mo and stuff like that basically he's shown to have uh, stealth camouflage he can also draw proximity mines as well as, you know, use his cannon and stuff. So really cool character. And Commander Universe, I really like his, you know, kind of archetyped hero where he's like, you know, justice prevails and, you know, the evil shall be destroyed by the, you know, righteous power of the heroes and everything. And that is still really cool. But again, the main thing that kind of, um, you know, made it difficult for me to fully invest in these guys is the fact that they were always fighting and arguing with each other. I give them props for trying to create that unique dynamic but I, will, I would have liked to have seen still more, you know, teamwork, camaraderie, and friendship between the two, especially since they're combiners, right? They're supposed to combine into the greatest admiral. And with that being said, though, too, this is an important character more so for those of, you know, South Korean uh, ancestry. And I say that because this is based on a famous general who fought off against the Japanese invaders. And this character was kind of made to commemorate that figure. So it's more like based on a cultural icon, a historical icon in South Korean history, which, you know, again, is I completely understand, which is still a great thing to do for sure. The uh, design of the character is amazing. Well, it also just looks like cool things, you know, Spaceship Yamato from anime and just other really cool battle cruisers and battleships that are, you know, seen in intergalactic sci fi stories. So I really, really wanted to get this. But the other thing that also kind of like, convinced me to go with the mini version because I definitely like all the characters of Tobot Galaxy Detectives and I wanted the collection is the transformation. So the head right here to me is pretty distracting and I'm not a big fan of the way they just kind of kept it out in the open there. Especially, especially since they have these fins here, they could have easily just created them a little bit taller and then you could have just fully closed them down and covered up the face. And then that to me would have looked a lot more cleaner and sleek and I would have gone all in for sure on this character. With that being said, I do notice that, um, you know, in some of the other characters you can also see their heads. So for example, in Shuttle, one of my favorite characters, if you go to, to look in through the visor, but his head's still tucked in. And again, it feels like it's part of the body. So I have no problem with that. This one, on the other hand, it almost looks like a chopped off head. So that's the other thing that kind of bothered me about this design. Again, if they just covered it here, it would have been perfect. But other than that, again, I still recommend this. And if you really, really like the character uh, and, you know, the characters, then, of course, get the full-size version for sure. Because the other downside to these are they're obviously not as detailed. So, for example, you'll see that the tracks here on Tangai are not black. So it's kind of lazy and kind of cheap, obviously. Um, you know, the Toki is pretty hollow. You can't remove the Toki here either. Um, but that's fine. That's part of the regular guy, I believe. Uh, but, again, there's a lot of black here that should be detailed in because I mean overall the detail on this looks great I mean look at all those engravings those etchings and everything the textures but it should be a lot more black or gunmetal like these two sections here which is funny because you don't see those right I mean these are fine 
right? But like, if they only took this, you know, paint and just put it up here, I think that's more important than the bottom. It would start to look a lot better. But again, for the value compared to like equivalent, let's say, transformers and other similarly priced figures in this category, I mean, this is still a bargain. What you're getting here is still well worth the cost, right? So again, I can still even recommend the mini versions as well. So let's transform them now. So the downside again here is too, is Tangai cannot become a robot. Technically, Commander Universe becomes his normal robot form, but he doesn't have his arms, you know, because when you combine them, he uses his arms. But let's take a look a lot closer. So basically what you do here is you're going to want to remove this armor here in the front, or I guess you would say in... Uh, the bottom yeah so what you do and also you're gonna want to push these in I would just start with that push these thrusters in here and then this portion comes out now this is gonna become his sword and shield really cool really cool I really like that for sure all right and then what we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna want to pop the back up so this is gonna allow us to reveal the arms so I mean you can be kind of a little bit more forceful but you don't have to uh, you can kind of just like rotate it up as you can see it's on that little um, rotating peg this is going to allow us to start to bring the shoulders up and then of course we're going to want to bring the dragon head down and then put this up as the chest then we can rotate the head up like so bring the shoulders down a little bit more we're going to want to flatten these panels here so that we can put the arms on all right, so the final step, again, pretty easy transformation, is under here, there are sockets. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the arm, and you're going to want this bulky portion to be on the outside, and you want the treads and everything like that facing backwards. There, it's going to plug it up into the socket. There you go. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Put it into the socket. Actually, you're going to want to rotate that down. And then, boom, there you go. So actually you can rotate it, well, either way, as long as it's out of the way. There you go. I think that looks better. And ta-da, he is all complete. Um, after this, plug this in here. So boom, although, actually then again, you probably want to rotate that there. There you go. Okay, nice. Then, once that is done, we can still put the sword in that arm, or we know we can put it here so he has two weapons essentially. And finally, this has two tabs here, which will go on the back, on his back right up there. Kind of cleverly disguised so they don't look like they're tabs, but in fact, they will tab on as long as you line it up properly like so you can use those two uh, holes right there to help guide you and there you go so that's unfortunate too it looks hollow right there whereas in the full one I believe it looks better for the toki uh, i do like on his skirts right here you can fold out again that, that side right there uh, decent articulation i will say though that in conclusion this 100 percent looks like a mini scaled version of the greatest admiral which is cool, but like I mentioned, there's like some downsides. As you can see, there's a hollow section here underneath his neck. Unfortunate. Um, and just overall, to me, if you want the whole collection, but you don't want to get the full-size version, which obviously is scaled a lot bigger, like taller and wider, you know, you get two separate toe bots, and then you get the full essence of the character. You get all the, you know, black painting and everything like that. Go for it. Uh, if you just want this character in your collection because it's not one of your favorites, then obviously get the mini version. And you know what? If you are a hobbyist, adult collector who appreciates a smaller scale and you want to actually put some a little bit more time and perhaps you can paint in the you know engravings, put the uh, the black gunmetal paint onto the areas like of the shield here, other parts of the you know spacecraft then that'll be fun you know because then you're going to get to put a little bit more time customization into it almost like a gundam gunpla you know how some of those obviously you can take more time and effort into you know 
using the, uh, the pen and maybe even painting to add more details. So if you see this is almost like a model kit project, then you can also get a lot more enjoyment out of it. Uh, if you just want it for the Toba collection, I recommend you getting this and having it for more of a display because either in the two tank and spaceship mode or keeping it as great admiral, it's a little finicky to, to pose because it, you know, it's quite easy to pop these arms out since they're just kind of plugged in. Uh, you know, and of course the articulation is kind of limited, but it still looks great. Again, it has a nice presence. I mean, if you compare this to the scale of a, uh, a typical transformer, this is still quite imposing. And overall, it captures the essence of the greatest admiral. All right, guys, don't forget, spread that positive love. Keep your faith. Say those prayers. Like and subscribe. Super fun for us, Captain Gamestar. We'll be coming back at you. Peace.